Hey, what is up you guys? So jailbreaking has just became so freaking easy. You could do it straight from your phone's entire browser. You don't need a computer or anything like that. So I'll prove it to you guys that I'm on iOS 9.3.3. I'm gonna go on settings. I'm gonna go on general. Click on software update. Boom. As you guys can see right here, your software is up to date, iOS 9.3.3. So the next step is that if you go on your internet browser, anything you like, Google Chrome or Safari itself, you're gonna type in this link right here. Boom. So guys, you don't have to add the HTTP or anything like that. Just type in webflames.net slash jailbreak slash. But make sure that J on jailbreak is capitalized or else it might not load, it might not work. So yeah. So guys, one more thing is, you're gonna click on go. And guys, it should bring you to this website right here. And one more thing you guys, this will not work on the iPhone 4 or the uh, 4S or the 5. So just to get that out of the way. And the next step that you're gonna do now is that click on install. And you're gonna click on install right here. Should give you this prompt right here. You're gonna click on install and wait about two or three seconds. And if it doesn't show up, you gotta do it again. It should come up right now. Boom, it is loading right there, as you guys can see. So guys, right now the app is not gonna open because it's not trusted yet, because it's not from the app store, so it's not trusted. So what you gotta do now is go on settings, go on general, then go all the way down to device management, which is right here, as you guys can see. And then click on this and then trust the thing, the app. And trust, boom, boom, you're complete. So get out of that. See, as you can see, it's verified. So get out of that. And then what you're gonna do now is that, go on the app, boom. For glitch purposes, you have to click on okay to bypass it so that is what is recommended by them by the PP jailbreak team so Pangu uh, so what you're gonna do now is click on the circle after the text comes up you're gonna click on the power button right here it should bring you right there and it's doing the jailbreak right now it should take max about five minutes like it really depends on the internet connection and then the phone's uh, speed so give some time so guys, as soon as that is done, it's gonna respring and uh, so we should have our jailbreak. So let's get started. So you guys, the jailbreak is complete and um, your device should respring automatically without you even knowing in the background. So. What you're gonna do now is unlock it and it should have Cydia right here. Boom. Cydia is right there, 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 there. So, yeah, um, click let's open on Cydia. Let's see if Cydia opens up. Yeah. It's a legit jailbreak, you guys. Everything is good with it. So, yeah, guys, um, we did it. This is the jailbreak. Everything should work. Blah, 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 blah. So Everything is good, by the way. So, anyways, we have done it. So now let's say you restart your device. The jailbreak is gonna, it's not gonna work anymore. CD is not gonna open. So what you're gonna have to do is, what you're gonna have to do is, if, if your device, okay, let's say we shut off, like our device shuts off. All you have to do is just open up this app right here. Open up this app. And there will be a circle right here, as you guys can see. There'll be a circle right here. All you have to do is just click on the circle and when the text comes up, just click the power button and your device should respin automatically. It should take about 20 seconds and it should be set. So anyways guys, that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy your jailbreak. And guys, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like and comment. And um, anyways guys, peace out.